This was me over a decade ago. <laughs> Look at me. What a disgrace. It absolutely blows my mind that somebody would give me this free access to the internet where I could go onto any website I wanted so long I could type the name into Google correctly. Luckily for my own mental well-being, I wasn't a mischievous child, so I would only go onto various game websites. Some absolute all-time faves of mine from childhood were free web arcade, mini clip, and cool mass games. But there was one genre of game that stood above the others chat games. You know, games like Club Penguin, where you can have your own character in a world filled with other online players to interact with. The funny thing is though, I never had a Club Penguin account, despite it being the biggest game. I was a huge fan of Moshi Monsters for the longest time, but ultimately another random chat game that nobody has ever heard of was the most important thing to Mini Jelly Jess. <laughs> Boom Bang TV. Did any of you guys play this? Anyone? Hello? Yeah, I didn't think so, but I... <laughs> Is that the exciting announcement alarm? A few months ago, I did a big giveaway for a Gammon Display tablet and the response from you guys was amazing. So amazing, in fact, I'm teaming up with Gammon again to give away three of these amazing graphics tablets. Ta-da! This is the Gammon M106K, a high quality digital graphics tablet. With 12 shortcut keys on the left and 16 soft keys on the top, all of which are fully customizable, you're able to create beautiful artwork really efficiently. It's got 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity, giving your brush strokes a natural look from pen to computer. Slice. So opening the box, we've got the tablet itself, an instructions manual, the pen, which is nice and solid, extra pen nibs inside this really nice case, cables, and a smudge guard glove. There's a pen loop on the edge here too, which I thought was a really nice touch. Nice. Setup is very fast and easy, and drawing on the tablet surface itself is super smooth, just like you would feel with any other branded tablet. Really comfortable. If you would like to win a free tablet it's very simple to enter you need to go to my Instagram and Twitter accounts you heard right I've just launched a brand new Instagram page so be sure to check it out regardless on Instagram simply follow my account and give this post a like that's one entry if you want to increase your chances of winning share this post on your insta story for an extra entry a third and final entry can be obtained by going to my twitter following my account and retweeting this post and that's it as i said there are three tablets to give away and three different ways to collect entries to increase your chances of winning two winners will be selected from instagram and the other one will be from twitter i'll choose a winner a week or two from this video's upload date and I'll contact you via Instagram and Twitter direct messages so make sure your DMs are open. Good luck everyone! Boom Bang was made by these Spanish guys. The whole purpose was to socialize with other players from all over the world. To a lot of you guys, this probably looks really crap, but here is the character lineup I had to choose from when making an account. There were boomerang guys, cat girls, witches, music dudes, old hippies, nerds, and this. Once you choose your character, you can customize all the colors to your preferences. This included the skin tone. If you really wanted, you could choose bright neon green skin and nobody would judge. Anyway, my character was a witch, who I gave a purple colour scheme. No surprise. I named myself Lily, because I was strictly told to never reveal my name online, but guess what? <laughs> brings a tear to my eye. As I continue this story, keep in mind, I was like eight or nine at this time. A child. The first thing I was told to do in this game was to obtain a boyfriend or girlfriend because it was the cool thing to do. So that's what I did. 
I became cool. On this fateful day, I hopped onto the painfully slow family computer and booted up the game to start my search for my suitable partner. I remember this day very vividly for some reason. Maybe because it was an over 40 degrees Celsius day and the computer room just wasn't air conditioned. Just maybe. I wish I was kidding, but I used to sit in this room with cold washes on my head so I can keep gaming in this heat. In a small humid room somewhere in remote Australia, a nine-year-old girl was sweating over her computer in search of her soulmate. Wow. Just realizing how sad this entire story is. Before we go any further, I just want to make it clear I wasn't serious about finding a boyfriend. It was purely for the fun of the game. Despite being so young, I would have never spoken to anybody outside the boundaries of the game and most certainly would never try and meet up with anybody over the internet. Luckily, I had this knowledge and fear hammered into me by my older brothers, but to anyone out there who isn't aware of how dangerous strangers can be online, please take your safety and privacy very seriously and very importantly do not try and do what I was doing here it's so dumb anyway there were a few spots in the game that were more popular than the others filling up with people whenever a vacancy was created I loved how the characters would enter the chat rooms instead of walking in or just spawning in they would fly in like this <laughs> this little purple witch wasn't having much luck in her pursuit though then one of the music dudes flew in all by himself. He was perfect. This was my chance. I sat up in my seat, took a deep breath and walked my character over to him confidently and just cut to the chase. Good evening, sir. You seem quite the gentleman. May you do me the incredible honor of becoming my boyfriend. My dear, I'm afraid it just isn't possible right now for my heart belongs to someone else. I retreated to the corner to disguise my sadness from the group. Everybody saw these messages pop up on their screens. I was shattered. I just stood there for a while composing myself, then out of nowhere, one of those cat girls entered the room. She walked right up to him and made the same move as I did. And he said yes. And then you know what? They kissed right in front of me! Out of spite, I just stayed there with them both. I was the third wheel that no one wanted. That will get him. After becoming official, I guess they decided that they should probably actually get to know each other a little bit more. So they started asking questions. What is your favorite food? Potato. Me too. We are so alike. Should we kiss again? OMG, I love potatoes. What type are we talking? Are we talking chips, mashed, McDonald's fries? Come on, really? They were very aware of what I was doing and soon left the room to avoid my interruptions. And then it was just me again, standing in a room surrounded by other people socializing and enjoying themselves. I was alone. Just when I thought there was no hope for me. Another music dude flies in with a different hair color. It was like an angel descending from the heavens. I sit up in my seat once again. It was go time! Oh hi, my name is Lily. Oh hey, I'm Theo. Nice to meet you. I'm from Mexico. Oh my god, he loves me. Nice. Wanna be my boyfriend? Absolutely. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the online boyfriend dream turned into a success. 12 minutes later, we were still chatting randomly about nothing in particular. Wow, Lily. This sunset is amazing. What sunset? Who cares? Lily, I've got something really important to ask you. Yeah? What's up? Lily, will you marry me? Absolutely! Let's just pretend I gave you a ring. Why, thank you so much. I can't believe I'm getting married at nine years old. What? <gasps> just kidding. <laughs> hey, sorry. I actually had to get offline now. I'll be on tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Yeah, see you then. 
Oh, he said he would be here. He must be busy. Another day passes. Okay, maybe he forgot. He'll probably come online sometime today. Many weeks pass. Aww. Months pass now. Okay, I think it's time to move on. He's not coming back for me, so I think it's time to call it quits. I'm done! <coughs> hey, how are you doing, husband? <laughs> I haven't talked to you in ages. What's up? <laughs> Please talk to me. <gasps> the day after that, I flew back into the popular location. Hello, everyone. I just got a divorce and my husband doesn't even know. <laughs> Who wants to be my boyfriend? Oh. This game was an emotional roller coaster. It should have been a lot easier to fit in with the crowd when anonymous, but I struggled way more than the average player seemed to. Ooh. I think it's clear to say I had a type. It was another music dude. As you can see, this one had blonde hair and bright red skin. He looked like a tomato. But that's okay, I was going to become cool again. Hi there, my name is Lily and I was wondering, would you like to be my boyfriend? Hi, my name is Chris. Yeah, okay. See these flowers in the ground? Yeah. Well they're for you but they're stuck there because they're part of the background of the game oh that is so sweet oh they smell so nice yeah they do hey you're not going to believe this but i have to go see you another time okay all good see you next time girlfriend wait you forgot my name not long after this, I kinda stopped playing the game. It's been days now. Months even. I've been sitting here waiting for Lily's return, but nothing. I'm starting to get the feeling I've been left behind. I wish I could just see that purple hat one last time. Or that default laugh action that everyone else also does. That's what I like to imagine happened anyway. Sorry, Chris. I didn't mean to Theo you like that. I want to say a big thanks to TJ and Brody for voicing Chris and Theo in today's video. I highly recommend checking out their videos if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video.